for our basic commodities can be uh, this can be caused by the war in the you know the ongoing war in Ukraine and uh, Russia that affect the price increases. But of course, there are many um, uh, you know schools of thought on this. We have seen that the government says uh, profiteering, sabotaging the government is the main issue. And uh, uh, joining us is our first guest here. She's an economist and she's going to walk us uh, through most of the stuff we are discussing in here. Her name is Chennai Mutambasere. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry, I muted you here. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on the show. Thank you, Sandy Kelly, and good evening and good afternoon, good morning to um, all your viewers around the world. It's always good to come onto the show and um, have these important discussions with you. Thank you. If you can briefly introduce us, uh, yourself to, to the viewers, uh, who, who are you and uh, where are you and um, where are you <laughs> from in Zimbabwe? <laughs> okay, um, so my name is Chennai Mutamba Sarah, like you've said. Um, I studied development economics um, at the University of Manchester to a um, Master of Science level. Um, I work in banking. I've been based in the UK for the last, oh, since 1999, actually, I left to go to university. So I don't know how many years that uh, <laughs> that makes it. Um, I'm a mother of three. Um, I, I grew up in Harare. I also lived in Gweru, in Shirugi, in Kwe Kwe. So I've been to so many places um, are home to me when we talk of um, Zimbabwe. Originally, my heritage is in Mashingo which is also the same area where I'm married. So that's a, a place I go to a lot when I visit Zimbabwe. Yes, uh, that's very interesting. We are very excited to have um, one of the greatest brains in economy with us here today to walk us through on what could be going on. We see that uh, the price increases um, throughout the, 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 it's not just Zimbabwe, some countries are also uh, complaining about the price uh, increases. Uh, what can you say about this and from the little introduction which I gave? Okay, so I think it's important to your viewers to explain that uh, when you're looking at how the economy works, generally, um, if I can bring it to a very high level, you've got your macroeconomic factors and then you've got your microeconomic factors. Macroeconomic factors include those things that are external to, to Zimbabwe. So not necessarily directly influenced by our policies, but actually what else is happening around the world that could be contributing to the supply and demand um, patterns in Zimbabwe. So yes, you would get if affected by things like the Ukraine war, we would get affected by the COVID pandemic like everybody else. However, we then have other, so these are what we call exogenous, they're external factors, they're factors that are probably outside of the control of our policymakers. They will impact us. Um, for, for instance, I know the Ukraine war and its influence on fuel, its influence on, on, on oil and things like that that we will see an increase in prices because the, the supply, there's going to be a shorter supply, therefore demand will be greater than supply and therefore prices will increase. However, within each country, you then have what we call your indigenous factors. These are the factors that are unique, internal, that are within the control of your policymakers. So in the first instance, policymakers have to try and mitigate for their consumers the impact of external factors, right? So here we see things like you will look into, say, for example, in South Africa, South Africa is doing something where it's cushioning small businesses from the pandemic through things like um, introducing lower interest. So their policy rates have been quite low for some time so, so that people can borrow, so that they can protect the, their businesses against um, these external factors and what has been happening with COVID pandemic, et cetera. But so in Zimbabwe, what we are seeing is instead of us then having internal factors or putting in place things that can actually help to reduce the impact of the things that are external to us, we are seeing a situation that is actually making things worse. 
And it is this worsening that is the, the more the more significant impact on what on prices and consumption situations in Zimbabwe. So for instance, we have had this, uh, the government since the beginning of the year, I think they've made um, three or four detrimental um, statutory announcements, which came as a surprise. They're detrimental in the fact that they came as a surprise to businesses. And when you shock businesses, it becomes a huge risk the risk profile of your country increases and investors do not want to make a loss. So when they want to try and um, adjust for that risk, that's when you're seeing things like a uh, high increase in basic commodities in the prices. They're not sabotaging their economy. They are, they're not sabotaging the government. It's a response to the policies that the government is putting in place. They are trying to mitigate the risks on themselves so that they can continue in business, so that they can continue to draw a margin from their sales. So this is what happens. The cause behind that in this instance would be the policymakers and the way that we are having what we call these um, endogenous shocks. So these, these announcements that they make sporadically are extremely bad for business and bad for the economy. Then the second thing that we have is when we look at what is the monetary policy, what is happening when it comes to money in the country? And here we take a look at the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. What is going on there? So for an investor, the same as consumers, you want to be able to see, is my money, are consumers having access to money? If I invest in this country, the people in this country, can they afford to buy the things that I'm going to be selling them, to put it simply? So this is where we now look at what is the monetary policy? What is the Reserve Bank, the central bank, because it is within their remit to try and improve the situation in Zimbabwe. However, what we are seeing, number one, the first problem, the major problem is the interchange auction. You mentioned in your, in your introduction that currently the interchange auction is being pegged at 300. What this is saying is that whilst the power market is now at 700, the parallel market is where the majority is change, is going in for exchange, right? Only less than 10% of businesses actually exchange through the interchange auction. So we now create an elite circle of organizations that are being able to access cheap money. Now, this might work wherein these same organizations then go and say, okay, we've made this, we've accessed um, at a lower rate, therefore, we are going to pass that benefit on to consumers. But we are not seeing that. This is happening, it's almost like a cartel infrastructure, whereby for you and I, and for everybody else that is listening, the US dollars that we all need, because we are an, imp an import-backed economy, we need foreign currency, we need US dollars. We have to buy them at 700. But at the same time, it's us who are still selling them to the 10, less than 10% corporate elites at 300. Every time we do that, we lose. So every time a dollar is sold through the interchange auction, the general Zimbabwean citizen loses 50 cents. Yes. And that loss is not being countered through prices. So it's it's um we we don't know why this uh, the well we know why there is the central bank is continuing with this path it is not benefiting the economy by any means and in fact it then feeds into the arbitrage what we call the arbitrage behaviors these are the people that can access the rate at three hundred they can also sell at seven hundred so that becomes a business in itself. They are not in the business of saying, I've bought at 300, therefore I'm going to mark down my products because I've got a cheaper rate. No. What instead is happening is that they, their profits that are being made whereby people actually go back and sell at 700 in the parallel market. And this is not benefiting anyone. And because of these behaviors, that 700 is going to continue to increase. Yes, you mentioned uh, something on the policies there. Do you think these policies like suspending duty on some basic commodities and uh, other, uh, other uh, policies that the government is implementing, 
are helpful? Will that help the economy anyway? Well, we should not be paying duty on basic commodities. The fact that for the majority of people, it's easier to go and buy in Zambia, to go and buy in South Africa. It's cheaper for us to survive. We are actually helping the government. If we can't afford to buy those basic commodities, then somebody is going to have to feed the people, right? So the fact that we were even paying uh, things like duty on basic commodities in itself was incorrect. However, there is already a tax applied to those people that are purchasing these basic commodities. So already for you to go to South Africa, you need to pay for your transport. The fuel prices are going up. Therefore, your transport price is going to go up. That's already another tax that is being applied to you. So it, it, it's not enough to say, well, we will reduce the duty because to be honest, in fairness, we shouldn't have been paying duty um, on these things anyway. Um, and the fact that even with duty, it was still cheaper to go and buy um, in South Africa, to go and buy in Zambia. That is where the real indictment is on government policy in Zimbabwe. So these things, are, you know, they're, they're, it's not, um, I don't think the benefit will be that much for 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 the for the ordinary citizen because like i said the tax is there already through transport costs the fact that you have to go and buy to cross borders in order for you to access basic commodities in itself now if they are expressing those duty to the corporates to to the big companies then we are not seeing even this advantage being passed on to the consumers inflation i think it was marked for some products at about a thousand percent um as of yesterday so even though the government is saying they're expressing that there's now duty things can come in duty free we are not seeing these benefits being passed on to the consumers yes uh, that's very interesting um we'll come uh, shortly to you again um Ms. Mtabasere just day uh, put. Wula boge abasanda uwe skuma la mshlanje sikubu mula uta bage logo kupu ga wente mo yempa asha mashayana. Si abone kutabantu bati abusa hambegi la kwa isitolo inte mo isi kwela mishana malanga abusa njana upalo kutimu. Gwangu ya peli vige yotwa i vige zimbi ni kukweli. Gatesi kupu ga Utenge izolo nje i amafuta upega we cooking oil mba we sa uto kusa sa we afita inte nguzi kwe lile njalo aishali ge inda onyo lapo ge besilo mwenye umsho ni chawetu umsho ni chawetu lapa eskota lawe ostasisela mwa wenza ga layo uwezo mna utukuti si kubo mulelo lutaba ye nage mungo siga ziche na imu damba sere ui ngweti ge etubo mula is on not to um it's not in a sink is economist you could have a still good tea i'm sure those are full of men delays is in our in my lap and a lap always a good tea i want to win as we see so good tea who come by john in jalo long not to win is a one to two again we will pass this again jalo to go to go to follow me double in service but to lay you darling upon with you man i want to go to i saw me the lens a local saw me the lens a local Wabantu wenga wazo mba wenza lavana wabu yu uzo chali malo kutama investors we didi yi njalo wenga safunu kusebenza li Zimbabwe. Ogu vise lavantu yi mba hiko njela loku, ogu wabu exchange rate, emkambo mnyama wabantu yi mwabesenze njalo. Gutina nje guunga saa hambi ushe, guu wisa nga manja umino tongo ba, agu wenzu kutu wangu mta tole inzi uzo, guga ntike umte lolo wechi uti lapo yi mwele ni guma pota, Begu vile ugu nga fanila ngu chese upatale. Nga kwenye nga ukulu mende ukipa kuchukuti uya nga itamu. Begu vile ugu nga fanila ngu tube kuona. Hiko ke lapa esi jelu wakona hiyo ngu iti lapa eto vungula ezo mna utoge. Skangela luguti gambe luku kutinda njana besifazana. Uguti umna utoge lizwe unje. Yebo ke sesu guye na njalo futi guye ungo siga zige mutamba sere. Uti astasi selege ngolimi lesiona ati vucho. Yes, Mrs. Mdambaser, if you can explain to us in Shona what you have been saying, how, why are there so much price hikes in most of the countries, and why is Zimbabwe particularly impacted more severely than other countries? If you can brief us again in Shona.
for those who do Thank not you. understand English. I want to attend them. Zinenge zuchiti ka munika, mairana nezo ufumi, nezo kuti, nika, zaka wanda zino, zino batikana, nezo zino itika kune zime nika. Se iko zino tiruku wana kune hondo ku Ukraine, ne Russia. Hongu, hondo ii, ino ita kuti zinu, zidure, zinu, 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 Yet the mot car. I see. Has this on ya ye see? Kuti bata, ne kuti tinga date she protect, kwa tinga date she wana ma police, baku rumende ye do. Inotarisa kuti aywa. Kana zunu zadai, she chatinga ita munika, chineta kuti isu se nika. Tibe protected, isu se nika. Tisaramba tichirasi, ufumi we do saramba uchirasika, ne kuda kwe wondo yi. Asi zvatiru kuona mzimbabwe, ndezwe kuti. Vanoronga, ndezwe ufumi wenyika. Varukura amba, vachita mapolisi, vachita amba, vachita urongwa. Unaita kuti zinu, zinu, wezire kushata. Kunyanyanyanya nda taura nyaye kuti. Tine urumende, inoramba ichi taura mapolisi zimanyo. Macha, nguva ni nguva. Mapolisi aya, anuwa, vanu, vema business, vani nguva singa zivi nezao. Pano zobudi zikuwa. Zunoma zishami iso kuma business. Kana ma business haka shami sika shaka nyanya. Manu baba ita o kuti ramangu anare business rao. Rite shaka naka. Manu kuna kukwiza mtengo. Kutiva gazi rire. Urongwa unora mba urushitu kwa ne urumende. Uruku chinja chinja. Ukura mba vachi shandura zunu zunu kuitika. In terms of economic policies. Izu zuna zuna kunaka. Zuno da kuti urumende. Igare pasi. Nevanu vema business. Vachita urirana, vachi nzubisi sana, kutituruku famba taka dai, amba tata ura urongwa uu, ndiwa urongwa we gore rese. Kwete kutipakatipe gore, voramba vachisha ndura zinu. Iza jubati riva, nive ma business, jubati rima investors. Sunaita kutima investors, vavunduke. Endekana vavunduka, kutiva rungi rora, vora ramangwana. Manu onase kuti jirinani, kutiva wezire mtengo, kutiva one kuti eh, ma profits awo. Uye kutipa wane kutipa wano kwa nisa kuramba. Vachi ita business rao. Zakare, tinuona vata ura nyeze kuti em, jitengwa ma jiri basic, ma basic commodities jino jino diwa ne vanu kutipa rara mezuwa nezuwa. Kutipa change vachi visa duty pa jiri. Vachi itra kuti mtengo we jini jidere. Asi chiruko wana kuti iza jisku shanda. Azi shandi ne na uye kuti eh, iyo fuel Tuluko noti uh, mafio prices arukura mba achikwira. Kana mafio prices achikwira. Transport kutuukwa nise kufamba kuyenda kuno chaga. Izo zo zitengwa. Unofandra kushandisa maria kawandisa iko zino. Nenye ye transport. Nekudea kwe kukwira kwe price ye fuel. Kana zvadaro ma price anara mba achikwira. Zunenge zusina basara kanyanya kuti juti ye, ye, ye pa boda ya viswa. Nekuti, kune, im, kune, im, kune mawe makost atiru kusangana nao, kunyanya panya ye transport, panya ye, ye fuel. So, mapoli za kadaro, haba tiri za kanyanya. Ende izuzuruku one kane kuti maprize, aguramba achikwira, inflation ichiramba achikwira munika. Jakare, urumende yedu, iruguramba yaka chengeteza, uh, makarenzi maviri, ezim dollar ne US dollar. Isu zuno ita kuti munyika. Muite uh, mirijonga. Vana vana tons bisisi kuti tiruke nda kupi. Vana vana vimbiso ne urumende. Kuti mangwana ticha zomu kere mari zedu zanzi zavama, zavama ma, 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 ma zim dola za imbo vama US dola. Na iso zo kusavane vimbiso munyika. Kuna ita kuti vanu. Vasa isa mari zavoma bengi. Kuna ita kuti vanu. Vasa da kuwezira mari munyika. Manu manu ramba vaka ngo fungara mangwana kuti ah. Tunusuno kuna kuchinja. Ende kana suka zondi chinjira. Ande changi ndiri papi. Ii risk ii. Ino itakuti mtengo ye zinu. Ikwire. Jakare ndataura nyaye interchange auction. Mu, uh, Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Ino, ino urongo we kuti. Um, Makampani anota risa kuita less than 10% of my business mu Zimbabwe. Anote ndezwa iwo. Kuti ayende ajino tenga ma US dollar. Ne Maria Kaderera. Wano tenga ma US dollar at 1 is to 300. 
Asi ba mujuruji injuru wese munyika wajitenga at 1 is to 700 wa mwendonzi kwa wawuto at 0 ma 900. Izo zuna ita kutipese patiru kutenge sa marine nzira i yegu interchange auction. Nyika iriku rasikirwa ne 50% of every dollar. Paese patiru kushande sa dollar tunozi wakuti 50, 50 cents yato yerera. Yato yenda isnacha ya ita munyika. Shakare urongo u uruku ita kuti kuti Ava, ku black market, uku parallel market, rate nilambe richikwira, nekuti awa wanenge wakwanguza kutenga, watenga ni mari shoma at 300. Ndivo zwakare wanozo nota kutengesa ni mari ya kakwira, wachikwanguza kuita eh, profit panye pa, nenzira i. Isu zunowa zwakare zunokanganisa ufumi mnika, zunaita kuti ufumi wenyika urasike. So, although e, eh, eh, ongu tunawona kuti hondo, Ino ita kuti zvinu, mnika yese, zvinu zhuome, zvinu zhinu zhinete. Asi, imwe ne imwe nyika. Ino kwa nisa kuvao ne urongwa, we kuti vana maru mnika yoyo, wa protect kwe. Kutipa wane kutitinga ita sei, kutitisa nyanyor, wazi, wane nyaye mafiwa prizes, mnika yedu aruku konzeru wane uondu. Asi pare zhinu, Urumende ye Zimbabwe, hapana zwa wakwanisa kuita put in place, hapana urongo wa wakwanisa kuita. Unorati za kuti, varuku zama, kuti, um, zinu zinu kuiti kamunika, zusanyanya kutipata, zusanyanya kupata ufumi we Zimbabwe. Interesting uh, perspective there. And uh, as an economist, have you um, found any uh, collaboration between uh, uh, you know, like economic decline and uh, impact on genders, if it really impacts women and children more than men. Because we hear in most uh, cases, women are uh, complaining that they are the ones who are impacted more by uh, economic policies that are not very competent. So in Zimbabwe, it's, un it's very um, unfortunate that the face of poverty in Zimbabwe has become women and children. Women and children have actually um, been singled out when we look at extreme poverty to say that they are the most impacted um, in Zimbabwe. Um, we, we are seeing a, an increasing number of women and young children especially being the key victims of extreme poverty. Um, that is the face of extreme poverty in Zimbabwe. Oh, yes, and uh, where you are now in the United Kingdom, would you say uh, there is uh, uh, a, a, a big difference on the economic um, atmosphere there since the Ukraine war and other issues, or is still the same as it was before compared to other countries? Well, certainly here in the United Kingdom, we are seeing an increase in fuel prices. And the moment you see the, an increase in fuel prices, you know, there's a knock-on effect in terms of, cons you know, consumer goods because everything needs to be transported, right? So that those price increases are being passed on to um, consumers. But what um, countries like the United Kingdom have been very good with is they do have a good social security system. So where you have, where people are unemployed or, you know, they are in the high levels of deprivation. There, are, there is a social security system that can protect them so that at least they have access to the basic needs like school, um, like, um, you know, basic um, in terms of food, um, in terms of access to health care. Those three things you can still find that even if the poorest person in the United Kingdom has access to health care, can go to school. You know what I mean? They can they can go to bed with something in their stomach. So, and this is because they've got a good social security system. Unfortunately, in Zimbabwe, we are seeing that the our our NASA, the social security um organization, continues to be in the papers for the wrong reason, where we are seeing a lot of um fraud that has happened through their staff through you know so we're seeing a lot of these things that have really impacted social security so we, when we speak of women we're talking of women of all ages we're talking of pensioners in that group you know um the the old women in the rural areas 
that I, I, I so disenfranchised by our existing economic situation right now. It's just extremely sad. Yes, and uh, I know you said uh, you'll be leaving shortly, but uh, before you go, uh, can you, you, you give, uh, what recommendations can you give, especially for the Zimbabwe economy, so that it can, you know, uh, mitigate some of these, uh, you know, the, 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 the bad effects that are going on around the world? Okay, so, I mean, I've been, I'm asked this question a lot, and in mm -hmm. for Zimbabwe, we, we cannot go into um, specifics without first highlighting that we need a complete system overhaul because we have loss of confidence and loss of trust in our policymakers. And there's no formula other than changing them that can change that. However, on a more tactical um, position, we have continued to say that we need to disband the interchange auction. We just don't need it. Whatever benefits are perceived to being derived from that, put against the losses, it must be disbanded. We must call for the disbandment of the interchange auction. When it when it then comes to when we look at um at uh, the multi-currency system again we need to move towards a single currency we need to move towards dollarization because at the moment having the zim dollar and having the um, the us dollar and trying to operate them in the same market as things stand right now it does not help us because we are an import backed economy majority of our transactions in, in you know i i would hazard to say probably 100 percent of our production value chains rely at some point on an imported raw material therefore we're an import backed um economy so it, at this point in time it doesn't make sense that we have currencies that are competing with each other with the weaker currency and the stronger currency because all that is doing is creating an arbitrage situation which continues to contribute to the leakage of resources or financial resources in the country. Every time, if I'm to put it simply, that you go into a shop and you have to work out how much it is in US dollar and how much it is in Zim dollars, you have lost some money. Every time you do that, some money is being lost somewhere. So we need to move towards a single currency, preferably the dollar at this point in time. Um, I would say for me, if we did at least those two things, we would receive some marginal benefits in the short term from that. So would you say there are more uh, pros than cons on dollarization? At this point in time, yes, because we are, we are failing to kick off our productivity. You know, the government talks about in the, um, in the national, what is it, the, the national development um, goals that they have, that they want to um, increase productivity, they want to inc increase beneficiation of mining, etc., etc. It's not happening because we do not have the resources to be able to do that. Our existing policy has failed for us to generate enough value in our economy to justify a local currency. Because for you, Standekile, for example, if I say to you, you say to me, Chennai, I want you to buy this thing from me. You need to tell me what is the value in it. That, that is what creates a demand for me, from me for it. It's the same thing with the Zim dollar. What is the value in the Zim dollar? When we do not have, when we continue to lose through mining, we are not yet um, creating any um, products directly from our mining. We sell the gold as it is from the ground. So we, have, we are not yet at a point of generating enough value in our economy to create a demand for our local currency. Therefore, we are not at a stage where we can prefer a local currency until we generate enough value in our economy. Then we can start to, to, to name our price and say we want a local currency. So how can we get there? At this point in time, let's reduce the leakage from the economy by having a multi-currency system. Let's have everyone needs the dollar. If you stop everyone in the streets, wherever you are, from whether you're in Mutare, in Harare, in Mashingo, wherever, people are looking, you know. I went to Zimbabwe just, you know, a few weeks ago. You get into a supermarket, people, are, someone is following you behind to ask if you want to exchange swipe or you for cash or whatever, you know. This is the situation like money has become a commodity in Zimbabwe and it's not right. We're every time 
that transaction takes place, whether it's for $50, whether it's for a million dollars, the economy loses money. So therefore, let's get rid of this multi-currency nonsense. Let's move towards a single currency, move towards dollarization and start from there. But we need to do it properly because we know what has happened in the past every time we do a currency conversion we're losing money whether it's through the one is to one gauge game policies or you know so we need a proper transition pathway that people can trust and can can actually endorse and we 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 bring back back the 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 us dollar but um and that, like i say these are marginal they will bring some benefit but for us to actually create full benefit in our economy we really need as a country to look at how we can actually get to a point of a system overhaul a complete change of the system so we can regain investor confidence and start attracting the right type of investors to zimbabwe yes uh, thank you very much uh, finally may you summarize that in shona the, the resolutions and your experiences what you saw when you went to zimbabwe a few weeks ago in okay. shona I have to swap. <laughs> um, yes, um, interchanging. <laughs> I wonder, tender. Kuti is Rino Zinaki Munika, yes, Zimbabwe. Tino Fani Rakuti to Shrike Kushanduko. Tino Nida Truku Truku Tirum situation Yakuti. We need a complete overhaul. My investors have a sinner in Biso, Nizimum Zimbabwe, Nema policies are repeat from Zimbabwe. Nice also, Tino Fani Rakuana Guti, Tingazi, Gisa say, Tinga Chinja say, Kutitanga Kuvane Vanu, Vaca Tendeka, Vanu, Vaca Vimbika, Vanu, Vaca Nangana, Neku Visa Homori Munik. Ah, see, Zirikunzi Mangwana, Mangwana Chai Tingai Tay. Gati tange ine kubisa multi-currency system. Tive ne mari ine chete mzimbabwe. Paris vino, tine mari yema, yema zim dola ma bondi, ma eko keshi, ma swipe, ne ma US dollar. Juni izu, zuno totenge eswa, ndataura inini kutipandaka inda ku zimbabwe, ndaka pinda mshobu, unotu wana manu wa chiku tewe, amai mune swipe, muruda ku swipe ere, muruku dere, A chip sword in Dangandambo, young Ambozim. She chirukitic up Panyaya Mari, Gatiba in a Marie Machetem Zimbabwe. Paris Gino. Nena, we are quoting Nikayedo, I sat here Simuka, Pashi Gazir was no Gazir Wamunika, but Nakwan is a queen is a mezzi menica. Had sat the Simuka Pacuti, Tineza Kakwana, Tine value Yakakwana, Mikono Mimedu, could it sank it with zera. Kuti vanu vawe kuzo tenga zvin machi zvitenga ni mazim dola. Kuti kuti tishike paka daro dino kuru zira hurumende kuti ai tai tatanga kushandisa US dollar. Paris zvino yoita iwa Marie Gamunika kusvika nyika yava panzimbo iri stable kusvika nyika ya gazikana tava kukwani sa oku gazira zvino Zimbabwe zvino te hundred percent chain yacho yes zvino zva zvino zva rima zvika shandis kuku gazira zvika zotenge serwa Zimbabwe kusvika tasha zvika panzimbo iyo yo Paris zvino ai tambo shandisa ma US dollar nekuti ndiyo arugunya nyodi wa munika iko zvino kana wakataura nani nani Munei pi town, ano to tau rout, arugu chago, my US dollar. Neptin dipo pa patiri pares vino munik. Pese patiru kuti tuneta ma transactions, tuna fandrang tangata ziva kuti imari kuma zim, imari kuma US dollar to cheza kweka out. Pese patino daro, trukura sikir wane mari, trukura sikir wane ufumi munika. Pasina zumes vino zaitika. Izo zo zega, zirukuti rasira ufumi munika. So ndi no kuru zira vanwe urumende vanu vanu chare sana nezwe nyeze ufumi wenyika kuti. Dai, tazo kera pa kushandisa US dollar. Pares jino. Kusika nyika ya simuka. Ta kufane shi gaziru kwa ozu yedusha. Tino kwa nsa kutenge sera zime nyika. Very interesting. Are you staying with us? Or Ayu, you... Pane imu ya ndi sinaku taura food. Yes, okay. Eh, <laughs> and naku ta, and taura ya renya ya interchange auction. Kutu daita ya iyo yonga ibiswe. Daita ibisa. 
Vangu tazo kera kutika na ushida kutenga marize kufambiswa nyare marize kushani samune zime nyika. Unongo enda kubangra ako vono kutarisira otenga marikoko. Iwa manengi wa shitenga wa shitengesa kuende rana nekuti jimandi ya kamira ya kaita se. Kwete kuti kutengeswa kwe mari kwa itwa ni central bank. Nekuti central bank inopana unge ishito chingeteza mari mnika kwete kutengesa mari everyday. As you find room, as you read, you know, 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 Ndu noona kuti, suchava zuno isa benefit mwenyika, suchava zuno batira ufumi wenyika, kuti zuno zito o zuno nani. Kwete kuti chinenge tatu vata visa eh, ma problems edu ese ayewa, as kuti zuno zuno ito o zuno shiko opari nani. Yes, and if you can explain again briefly in Shona how the economic wars, you know, uh, impact on women and children more than okay. men in most countries. So we see that um, women, the face of poverty, could not could tumble zika. Kuno nyanyo bata mazimai nevana. Say is a sweet tika. Do not even bang to Vakuru Vedi Vaka Garava Zuona, Pavaka Taura put a musha, Mukazi. Mukazi, die, I know Uno Uno Nangova Jinji, Kutikana Marie Tinato Shaikwa Mumba. Amai kunyangwe vachiti ndino ndino rwara pane zvandiri kufanira kuita kuti ndibatsirike. Tumari twondo tunenge twawanika unoona vano gona kushandisira pavana kana kuti vano gona kuti vaiwana zvavano tengesa vago tengesa vago wana mari yekubatsira vana. Na izvo zvo muZimbabwe tunenge tichiona kuti nyangwe takada utarisa kuti ndivanani vari kuinda kuno vanenge vachiita zvekutengesa kana zvema cross border kazhinji kacho madzimai. Madzimai zvakare vanonetse kana kuti tikwanise kupinda mune dzimwe nzvimbo kana kuru kuti mukuda kuti muende kunoita zve kuzvengoda zvakare zvinenge zvichitwa nevechirume so vakadzi zvinhu zvatinozokwanisa kuti tiite kuti tiwane mari zvinhu izvi azvipi mari yakanyanyisa kuwanda ende kana mari yacho taiwana inenge ichishandisirwa kazhinji kacho pavana kana kuti nedzimwe nguva nekuti pare zvino Kajinji, muridza kawanda zisikuwe za maruma bengi. Mari ii ino gona kuendesu kumba. Kana ya endesu kwa kumba, jauku zishie ndera na nekuti pamba ipapo vanu waka garase. Baba nduwe varuku bata mari ere. Kana kuti mai nduwe varuku bata mari, kana kuti varuku bata mari pamwe chete. Zunizu, zunaita kuti wakazi, warambe wachinese ka wachitambu zika. Zakare, mnika yedu ya Zimbabwe, atisatita shika, panzimbo ye kuti, tuluku wana kuti wakazi, Mwana mwana skana aru kupeza shikoro shakanaka achizo shiko kwa university shakanaka. Tishiri kuona nyaya ye kuti mwana skana ano kurumizi kwa kurore eskwa. Kana uti ano kurumizi kwa kutatangi kubatira zunu shemumba. Na izozo hakuwa nisi kuti azo yendira mberine fundo yake. Kana asina kuyendira mberine kuziza maria ano zubono kuwana. Kana achinga haku shanda hava um, uh, working age. Haina kunyanya kuwanda. Na iso zosu nita kuti kuti. Madzimai. Vave iwo mano batikana. Shaka nyanyisa. Kana nguva ye kunetseka. Kana nguva ye kushubika ya pinda mnika. Si, mwuzwa gelape kuluma ge. Kwa siga zige. Uh, chenai mutambasari ge na. Oi, economist. Yes, um, if you can, what's your last word to the viewers, to Zimbabweans about the economy? I would say that the situation that we're in, it really requires um, all of us to, um, con to make a conscious decision to change the way things are in our country. Because where we are headed, if you compare, um, I, I had, um, I think, a session Last year, in 2021, a half-year session, I believe at the time, the Minister of Finance was saying that inflation will be at 50%. Now we're at 1,000 and above. 
we have gone past the three digits. As of yesterday, some commodities were reported to be in 1,784% inflation. That is a very steep decline. And the way that we are declining is so sharp that I shudder to think by December of this year, where will we be? Where will the poorest person in Zimbabwe right now be? And away we, where you were maybe a little bit better. Of course, everyone is moving down. The, the more the prices are going up. So we really need to make a conscious decision as a people to actually decide that we require change is no longer a, a, a want. It's now a need. Our investors are, have got no confidence in the economy. How do you know this? You see this with the increased prices. You see this with the fact that for the majority of things that we need, we have to import. So where are the investors that should be uh, coming into the country? Investors vote with their feet. There are no investors to save us. We need to make a conscious decision as a people about the future that we want for Zimbabwe. In the meantime, remain aware in terms of who is dealing at the interchange auction. If you, the taxpayer, are selling them a foreign currency at a discounted rate, then they should be in a position to offer you discounted prices. We should see if it's national foods that is getting access and is being able to buy every week money from the interchange auction, then every product from national foods should reflect a reduced price. These are the things that we as consumers, you need to look out for. It's not a favor. Yeah, you, it's, it's, you, you, it's, it should be a given. It, it's something that should be statute. So demand it for yourselves. You know, we just need to have that um, awareness, even as we buy products in, in, in our country to really know, you know, what really is going on. If I am allowing the government to sell you money at a discount then i should be getting a benefit out of that as well because you cannot then come and give me an exaggerated price so these are some of the things that you know as consumers we need to be awakened to um going forward let's let's not sleep on the job you know this is our country let's um it needs us all to be awakened to what is happening and to speak up and speak out I can't hear you. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you for letting me know. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we, uh, we're lucky to have an economist to walk us through uh, everything uh, that we wanted to cover on women and um, economy in Zimbabwe and the other world. Thank you. That tender. Yes, hoping you will join us uh, next time. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Yeboge lapo siboni lege unko sigazi chenai mutamba sare gina ovestasi se lage ogune ngenges patela ne lezom na otso si abono buti yenage u economist oguchu buti game ukakashi le lezom na otso na kuvestje la buti le zimbabwe ogunno ano yuguti lima bili seven zisi mali ezeshugeneyo. The seven and upper the seven, this is Pula, upper the seven, this is Pon Note, upper the seven, this is Nilani Rand, Umele Ube, the Male Yota, Nabu, Wooty, near Shule Lizweni, Woman Wooty wins Wege, US dollars, local type dollarization, Wootyge, Yuko, Ogunga, Yanzabutum Noto, Elizabe, Ukubege, Ubenon, Ustelli Lenjalo, Wootyge, I say, I want Wooty in. Ugu wa gumi noto elizo, upata gubi ya besfazana. Mwoba, yi waba patega gubi na kulu nga luka besfazana la bantoana. Wodo, la pashala kona, wele United Kingdom, la ngaye nengo ezi Zimbabwe, uti la pashala kona, guhulu mende, ule nshelo zaki. Lezi anaza zikona, la zweka eze welfare, la katese njemba zikona. Wodo, eza kwa manya mazu, njenge ze UK, Zia be zia patisa abantu uti la nganga sevens we are tola. Oguza upilisa, we are toli mali, we are tolu ulamanta wako ba funda, ulenji ogu shala, wonke wunjia la nganga soza kufana ni, la lozu zeli mali ake goto, awu sozu ufe nenjala, 
kumbe uthola amagabavu zayo kumbe kungabi lo mntwana ofundayo ngenxa yokuthi kula mali ngikho kube xwayisa ke uhulumente ukuthi indlelo zakhe azithuthukise ukwenzela ukuthi umnotho welizwe lawo uthuthuke ukwenzela ukuthi abatshali izimali elizweni labo babe legunya lokuthi bebuye benga bengisaba ukuthi bazala hlekelwa izimali zabo yebo ke ngikho kobe kutshiwo ke ngokwesikazi chenai mutamba sere u economist ingqithi ecubungula ke ezomnotho ngikho ke sesi siya ke ukuziphatha amandla se bulawa yo progressive residents association ungosikazi ke ungosazana uTilius Manda yena ke ngumgcini isihlalo ogatsha olubona ngabe sifazana ukule inhlanganiso isandi ukukhuluma laye ubona lo msakazi o university ke hayi kulo mbono ohlukene ngalolu dabu ukuthi um nxa umnotho welizwe ungamanga kuhle yikho okuba lohlakela ezindlini izehlakalo zehlakela ezindlini ziyakhupuka um asizweni ke ke unkosazana ke otilia sibanda ezikhulumela ngawakhe amazwi ukuthi ukhuphula njani i udlakela ezindlini um ukuswelakala kwemali ukukhuphuka kwentengo yempahla esingathi nje i-economy ngaye ngasahambe kuhle asimzweni ah kungivela izinto ezikhuphuke ngayo ezikolo Ngiyenza impilo ibe nzima yona ibe ivele inzima ngoba ezivela abantu bengena msebenzi engenelisi mhlo lokuziphilisa. And ngiyenza impilo yabantwana ibe nzima. Ngoba ungawuthumela umntwana esikolo engena nto ayivileyo ungenelisi mhlo lokuthengelisa inkwaso ukuthi athwale. Kuyenza umntwana le mfundo yakhe iyethi. Ngoba ngawumntwana elandile uyaphambanise kathisa ezifundwe nezandi izinto zikhwele oku okudlulise amalawulo njalo omunye nomunye kule ndlela yakhe afaka ngaye inkemo inkemo azilingani phakathi kwedolobho okuthi ukuthi so wonke umuntu usesenza umathanga kunaba abala mathi ngoba ngila thembu ukuthi bayaphumelela ngoba kathi ukuthi ukuthi uzakala wena ukuthi unebhizinisi yakho ula magrosi akho phambi kwa magrosi akho kulo mtu ohlezi naye othengisa into ezifanana nento ozithengisa hayi phambi kwa magrosi akho okudala ukuthi ibhizinisi lakho lingahambi ngendlela njalo lingaphumeleli kulabo abensika abathengisa ukuncane omama abathengisa amatamati bayakhala ngoba lento bangona zisawo nje kubanzima labo ukuthi bafake inkengo elenzuzo phezu ngoba kuyenza lezinto zabo zithile zingatheli ngendlela abazithengisayo okudala ukuthi imfiki ikhuleke kubanzima emuntwini wesifazana omu yomgogodla womuzi umgogodla wendi ngoba umama uyiyo insika yeguma lakhe wonke ubunzima bubuya phezu kwakha abantwana babuya kumama besithi silandile a ubaba la yebe khanyelele ukuthi umama aphele ukudla okwenelayo okuyenza ucine kuyenza uthuko le domestic violence lungapheli phakathi kwemini ngoba indaba yemali lokuswelakala kwempila kakhe ezinzini kudala ukukhula kwe domestic violence abantu bekhathaniswa yinzuzo kuphela ezi Oso wenza uzwa uzwa ngokuqhubeke ukukhula njalo kungaye zinde nalo lokuthi kuye phakathi kwemini Sokunye esikukhangelayo aku akusokuyenza obaba behluleke loku lokuphila kuhle nemuli zabo loba ade ngobaba ongelala kodwa ngenxa yokuswela inzuzo kwenza impilo endlini iwomi ingabilula kumuntu wephili njalo indaba yokuswelakala komsebenzi phakathi kwaleli lizwe uyiyo eluhlupho kakhulu oludlulise amalawula ngoba wonke umuntu usephila ngokuthengi 
Yebogay, Lapogues, is Zwege, Uncosana, Otilias band again, Uncle Nislao, Cachala Vespaza, Wunchang and Niso Eluela, Avasadi, Wagoblaw, Ebla, a progressive residence association. Yenagela Uti, I look again. She's saying that uh, they we just heard uh, from our guest, Otilias Banda. She's the chairperson of the women's branch in the Bulao Progressive Residence Association. That's an activist group. And she's saying that. Um, what they've noticed as residents is that um, lack of uh, money in the households, like price increases and uh, school fees increases and um, hospital fees increases and lack of jobs, it makes uh, mostly men uh, more violent sometimes because they no longer feel like they are the leaders of the family, they are providing for the family like they should. For example, she giving, she's giving an example that even a man who was uh, of uh, you know good temperament, they're likely to be hostile once they see that they are failing to take care of their families. Yes, um, to some people who do research or some people may not uh, want to believe this, but she's saying that's what they see uh, in as residents some residents come to report more cases of domestic violence whenever the economy is uh, gets worse than what it already is. And she explains to us that uh, her organ what her organization is doing to assist um, residents there in, when it comes to, you know, those who cannot access uh, the basic commodities. She says the best they can do is to talk to the government and other stake, uh, stakeholders because there were times, for example, when people who couldn't pay uh, in clinics, hospitals, they would just go to their local councillor who would write, the white councillor would write uh, a note so that they can have free uh, medication. But uh, those uh, opportunities are dwindling now as they no longer get them like... Uh, they should. Yes, uh, let's hear what she has to say about that. Yeah, <laughs> 